<clears throat> who who learned the Lord's prayers during during the week? Who learned the Lord's prayers? Not in English. Not in English. But you know in Spanish, eh? And you know in Spanish, I think. Yeah, in English. Mm. So can we read it together then? Yeah. Okay. Our oh, Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory is yours now and forever. Amen. You were missing. You, you, you were making me lose myself because we, 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 we pray the last part uh, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. And you said something else. You, you, you went somewhere else. I was going too fast. Yeah, you're going too fast. Well, I'm, I'm, um, I'm using these two books by my, my hero, N.T. Wright. Yeah. These were sermons that he did, and I'm using this. Uh, I like, I'm liking this one. Um, the Lord. Lord, Lord, teach us the Lord's prayer and the Christian life, and and and, and that's that. We we are gonna we're gonna also see what we're gonna do at the end, uh, how we're gonna how many weeks. Yeah. But this still introduction because uh, I, I think we didn't we, we we last time we learned a lot about the Lord's prayer, but we need to <clears throat> to go step by step. So Erica knows this, so I'm not gonna ask Erica because Erica asked me. She she was smart. The first thing she asked me. Where's the Lord's Prayer? So who remembers where the Lord's Prayer is? Which Gospels? Well, in the book of Matthew. Yes. And also in the book of Luke. Oh, lady! <laughs> now, Enrique. Now, you know. Which, which chapter in Matthew is the Lord's Prayer? No, sorry, not number six. Number six. Number six, yes. <laughs> six, uh, five to eleven in Luke. Erika, you... That was a fluke. Luke? <laughs> that was a fluke. Luke? Luke in Luke? Luke. <gasps> no Bible. 11? Oh, you don't have your Bible, Enrique? Okay. That is fine. Oh, you're going to have to share them. It's alright. Look, 11. Well, no, no, we, we, we just, we're just saying. So, we have the Lord's Prayer in, in, in Matthew 6, 5 to 15, and Luke 11, 1 to 13. Yeah. So, Jesus gives each time an application of the story. And I like, <coughs> maybe last time he said things about the, the one in the... In Luke, because in Luke, uh, it's very interesting what he says, <coughs> how he finishes the Lord's Prayer, and then what he says. Uh, so we're going to read it. One day Jesus was praying in a certain place. And when he finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray. Just as John taught his disciples. He said to them, when you pray, say, Father. Uh, and see, and that's the difference, you know, in Luke, it doesn't say, Our Father in heaven. But it says, Father, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we also forgive everyone who sin against us. This is difficult. And lead us not into temptation. Then Jesus said to them, Suppose you have a friend, and you go to him at midnight and say, Friend, lend me three loaves of bread. And this is, this is, um, like what, what the Lord did yesterday with me, that uh, he came to pick me up. He, 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 he dropped me off and he, kept, he came to pick me up. And also one, when he was in the hospital without me knowing, uh, he called me at 2 o'clock in the morning. Luis, can you come and pick me up from the hospital? So, so that's the thing. But he didn't call me time and time again. He yeah. just called me once. But, but that's how, that's how I, I was thinking about that, that we ask each other to do stuff for us. Friend, lend me three loaves of bread. A friend of mine on a journey has come to me, and I have no food off to offer him. And suppose that the one inside answers, Don't bother me. The door is already locked, and my children and I are in bed. I can't get up and give you anything. I tell you, even though he will not get up and give you the bread because of friendship, yet, because of your shameless <laughs> audacity, he will surely get up and give you as much as you need. And then, so I say to you, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock at the door and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receives, and the one who seeks, finds. And to the one who <coughs> knocks, the door will be opened. Which of you fathers, if your son asks you for a fish, will give him a snake instead? Or if he asks for an egg, will give him a scorpion? If you then, though you are evil, and this is where Levi, this is where Levi said, I remember you said, 
So the people were thinking, oh, yeah, we're good parents. Yeah. And Jesus comes back and says, no, you're not. You're evil. <laughs> you're still evil. Even though it, it, if you then do, you are evil. Know how to give good gifts to your children. How much more will your Father in heaven give you the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? And, and this is totally different, the Holy Spirit, because the other one doesn't talk about the Holy Spirit. So learning to be a Christian by learning how to pray as a Christian. Going back to Matthew. Matthew, Jesus tells us two, two types of people who pray. Matthew 6, 5 to 7. And Levi, can you read it please? Matthew 6, 5 to 11. Um. It says, and when you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, huh? for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the street corners to be seen by men. I tell you the truth, they have received the reward in full. But when you pray, go into your room, close the door, and pray to your father who is unseen. Then your father who is uh, who sees what is done in secret, secret will reward you. And when you pray... No, no, wait, wait. Okay, so... Six, five and six tells us how people who know God, yeah. the, Phar the, the Pharisees or the people in the synagogue, which, which are, remember, in the, in, the, in the ancient world, the, un the only ones who knew God were the Jews. So they were the ones who, who were the Christians, let's say, at the, at the time. They were the ones who knew, who knew God. So many of them, yes, not all of them, but many of them were praying in street corners to be seen by others. And many of them were hypocrites yeah. when they were praying. So you can be a hypocrite, and you can be uh, also somebody who just wants, who wants everybody to, 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 to see you. I remember at church we had a brother who was going like this. Remember when he used to go, and, 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 and like we said last time, they would just pray and say very beautiful words. And people, wow, I wish I could pray like him or her. Jesus is not calling us. And this is in the next part, it tells us the same thing. Now, no, number seven, Levi, and seven to, yeah. Uh, seven to nine, no, seven and eight. Yeah. And when you pray, do not keep on bubbling like pagans. Like pagans. So this is the people who don't know God, like pagans. <coughs> so they think they will be heard huh, because of the many words. And do not be like them, for your father knows what you need before you ask him. Yes. So we have two types of people who pray badly. People who are. Uh, and now we're gonna go here. People who are hypocrites and he, people who babble. Oh, look, look, look. I'm not gonna throw a dog, don't worry. Last time I threw a dog and Enrique made fun of me. <laughs> yes. So hypocrites and people who babble. And babble was babbling. Who, who knows? Natalie, do you know what it is? No. No? What do you think? No, you know. Hmm? So who's bubble? What's the bubble? Yeah, David. They what? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> 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 they they what? He pointed. So what's the bubble? Anybody? The bubble. I would say people who uh, probably uh, pray or say word without any real common sense. Yes. Let's say. Pigeon. That's bubble. Yeah. So, please, 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 please. <laughs> and they think that they open God's, God's hand. And hypocrite. What's a hip? What, oh, everybody knows what a hypocrite is. No, not. Oh, oh what, what are you doing? <laughs> 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 Enrique, no, Enrique, no, everyone. <laughs> hypocrite is somebody who <laughs> pretends. You gotta put your hands up or up before you answer. Or you can get, you know, hypocrite is somebody who pretends. So when you pray, you don't wanna be a hypocrite. You don't wanna pretend. Even praying sometimes when, when okay, I wanna pretend that I love these people. So when I'm. When, for everybody to see me, I'm going to pray for my worst mm -hmm. enemy. Even though you're praying it, but, but you're saying it hypocrit <coughs> hypocritically. You don't really mean it. Hmm? Yeah, well, yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> well, there that may be, yes. I don't know. <laughs> that, that's a good, that, uh, some people will see this. 
So a lot of people are saying, oh, I love these men, but they don't really do it. They don't love him in the mm. hearts. So some people pray like that. Jesus said that they pray like that. Mm. They are hypocrites and they like to be seen. But then he goes, and these are the people who are supposed to know, because these are the people who are in the hit synagogue. But then oh, babbling, yeah. babbling. Oh, Lord, we la 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 And the la 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 Lord, la la Okay, Lord, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, bye. <laughs> like like sometimes and sometimes I pray like this, you know why? Because I'm in the car <laughs> and when I pray fast, I forgot to pray in the house. Oh no, no, no bless, 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 bless. Although I mean it, but <laughs> but sometimes we repeat and repeat. But then some people will say, Yeah, but the Lord's prayer but isn't the Lord's prayer repetition? And I'm gonna talk about it later. Repetition. The Lord's prayer is repetition. Because we know it, we if we know it, we we try to pray every night. So, but we repeat it and repeat it. And why do we? So, repetition is not bad, but it has to be the right repetition. I remember once in, in a church where I used to go, they prayed the Lord's prayer in the in the message, and I hated it how they they pray it because the message is supposed to be a paraphrase, not a real Bible. Yeah. And he's trying to improve on Jesus' words. And I didn't like how it came out when, when they did it. So, so now we know we're not supposed to pray like hypocrites. And we're not supposed to pray like babbling. And Jesus did not ask us to agree with him, but to follow him. Mark 117. Can anybody look for it? Mark 117. David, you have, you have the Bible there? Eh? Mark 117. New Testament, Mark. Chapter 1. In the, sec in the second book of the New Testament, yeah, you found it? 1 and 17. What does it say? Uh, mm -hmm. 17. Yes. You don't have to read it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, 17 to 18? No, only 17. Okay. Come follow me, Jesus said, and I will send you out to fish for people. Fish for people. Come <clears throat> follow me. He didn't say... Agree with me. Jesus doesn't call us to agree with him. Teachers, teachers usually say, "Oh, uh, you have to." Are you agreeing with what I'm saying? And people say, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah." That's why we follow you. No, Jesus didn't say that. Jesus just said, "Follow me." He, he was very demanding. I, I, I bet that if we would have lived in those times, we wouldn't have liked Jesus sometimes. Yeah, because he's demanding. Ah, you don't like what I'm saying? Go, go. He said, "Oh." But, but only you have, uh, Peter said, only you have the words of eternal life. You don't like it? Go. So Jesus is, is quite tough sometimes. Truth is not a set of prepositions. Truth is not like saying preposition. What I mean by that? So truth is not a set of prepositions. Truth is not like, uh, like um, this is true, but this is not the main truth. Jesus is God. That, this is a truth. It is a preposition. Jesus is God. What? What? Okay, you don't want anything? Go, go back. Jesus is God. That's the truth. But Jesus is. He is. He is truth. And, and we can read this in, in John 14, 6. This is very important. Very important to know that Jesus is. Is truth. Jesus Himself is the truth. <coughs> that's what. Whatever it comes from Him, we can trust. That that's how the way it is. Jesus, uh, fourteen six. He says, Thomas said to Him, Lord, we don't know where You are going. So how can we know the way? Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. That's in John. 14 6 if you really know me you will know my father as well see again like a prayer my our father my father now from from now on do you know you do know him and have seen him and this is where jesus gets a bit uh, a bit difficult philip said lord show us the father that the uh, that will be enough for us see the disciples wanted to see god who doesn't want to see god uh, don't you find that Ah, if God would show himself, whoa, I'll believe. 
And we'll believe that he's true. And then what does Jesus say? Jesus answered, don't you know me, Philip? Even after I have been among you for such a long time, anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. So that's the, that's the challenge. If we have seen Jesus, we have seen the Father. So Jesus is the, the way, the truth, and the life. So whatever Jesus says and teaches us, is we, have, we can trust him. We don't have to say, yeah, is it true, Jesus? No, we trust him because he is the truth. Nothing will come out of him that is not true. Do we pray this prayer, church? Do we pray this prayer, church? In our church, do we pray the Lord's Prayer? Not much, eh? Actually, this Sunday, I'm leading, I'm leading a communion. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call everybody to, to pray the Lord's Prayer. I'm going to put it on the, on, the, on, the, on the projector. Because Baptists don't repeat prayers. <laughs> That's the way Baptists are taught. We don't repeat prayers. We make up the prayer as we go. That's, but the thing, but but we love but we love to 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 talk about Psalm twenty three, don't we? Psalm twenty three, the Lord is our shepherd, I shall not want, and we like to read it and recite it at church, and we like to to even to uh, let's say let's say let, let, I see people going like this, saying I done it myself. Uh, I can I, I'm gonna I'm gonna accept that I also it says some people go go to church and say okay we're gonna we're gonna read the Lord shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. So on and so on. So a lot of people love to read the, 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 the Psalm 23 at church. But when they go to, to the Lord's prayer, oh, no, 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 I don't want to pray it. But Jesus taught us to pray. And everything that Jesus taught us is true and good. So do we, do, do we pray this prayer? And you know, I think the church is the best way to pray this prayer. Why? How does it start? What's the first word that we start in the Lord's Prayer? Our. Our. So it's not mine only. It's not yours only. It's our Father. And we're going to see more of that next, next time. So at church, we are all acknowledging that we have the same Father. That's how we should behave like his children. That's why we have when you have the business meeting at church. We have we are we, have, we should pray the Lord prayer because our Father in heaven, everybody's the child of God here. This prayer ought to be a habit. When the disciples asked Jesus to teach them how to pray, he didn't say, Go into a corda and pray whatever comes into your heart. Because that's, that's the way people say, yeah? That's the way people, okay, can you pray sometimes? And if you don't know what to pray, because sometimes we don't know what to pray. Sometimes we, uh, we, should, we, we only pray for mom, dad, sisters, brothers, maybe grandfather, grandfather, the dogs. <laughs> so we pray for the dogs. And we pray for, oh, Lord, help me with the school. Or help me with my job. Or help me with whatever. And then that's it. We stop. And then we remember, I always pray for, uh, for the deacons, for the church, for, and then pastors. pastors. And we forget to pray for these people. But, but, but uh, we're used to, see, Jesus didn't say, okay, you want to you wanna know how to pray? You know, stay quiet. And when you feel something, then you start praying. No, no, no. The Lord said uh, straight away in, 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 chap in, in uh, chapter, um, chapter 6. Uh, in, in actually in Luke, in Luke is the, 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 that's when the disciples come and ask him straight, straight away. Uh, Lord, teach us to pray just as John taught his disciples. So they knew of John the Baptist. So they wanted Jesus to teach them. And Jesus didn't say, like I said, oh, okay, okay, close your eyes. <coughs> like, like the Mormons, that's, what, that's how they pray. You know, have you seen the Mormons how they pray? Yes. No, and they pray, they, they go like this, and they say, when you feel something inside you, this, this warm, that's when God is talking to you. <laughs> that's what they say, which is very pious. I'm not, I'm not saying that that's bad. Yeah. 
they, they, they're trying to connect to God. They're trying. Because uh, remember, uh, some moments came like for six weeks and I wanted to talk to them and, 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 and I wanted to learn more about them. And they said, oh, you know too much. <laughs> and I said, oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, and also Jehovah's Witnesses came, but, but the Mormons are the ones who, 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 who go like this when they pray too. They, they go like this and they pray. Uh, no, I said, Jesus taught us and he gave us a, pray, a specific prayer, the Lord's Prayer. So this is, the, and, and it has to become a habit for us to, to do it. And one of the things that the Lord's Prayer also says is, um, it says, Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done. On earth, as it is in heaven. And I didn't put this here, but who remembers what Jesus said in the garden, in the garden of Gethsemane, when he's about to be given to the to the to the rulers to be crucified? What did he pray? Take away this cup. Yes, but but mm -hmm. not my will. By yours be done. By yours be done. Yeah. How do I know so much? <laughs> oh, <laughs> praise to Enrique. <laughs> So, this is what happens. The Lord's pray if we pray this thing every day, what are we saying? Every day we're saying we're submitting to God's will. And that's why I, uh, with my children, and, and I try myself to pray this prayer every day. Because this, this reminds me every day that the life that I have is not my own. It's God's life. And the way I talk to Natalie... Or the way I talk to you, lady, it has to be, even, because I'm not going to get it 100% right. But when I say something bad or do something wrong, it's not God's will, so I have to correct it. I have to go back and, and talk and, and, and try to correct it. So this prayer has to be a habit. Um, so Jesus didn't say, oh, uh, let's see what I have in, your, in my heart. So sometimes we don't have everything in the heart. But we're going to see also that the, the, the Holy Spirit also guides us to pray, but... If you don't have anything to pray, what's the best thing to do? Do the Lord's Prayer. Do the Lord's Prayer. Because it's going to cover everything. Everything. As we're going to see. And forgive us our sins. Who doesn't need forgiveness of sins? Here. Mm -hmm. All of us. All the time we need forgiveness of sins. So that covers. Mm -hmm. and once we, we're going to be reading that. We're going to go through it. You're going to say yes. And, and the idea, and my vision is that that we learn the prayer and pray it as as always as we pray, either uh, by ourselves or in the church. This prayer, at, okay, and this prayer is more about bending to God's will, what we just said, than getting what we want. Mm -hmm. Give us our day, our daily bread. We're asking Him to have mercy, to give us a job. To help us to sustain <laughs> us. By learning the Lord's Prayer, we want we don't become better better than others. That's the other thing. We don't become better than other people. Because 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 the problem is that we learn something, oh, I, I know more than you. I know more Bible than you. No. We don't become better than other people. But we become where's my thing? Better. I'm gonna put it like this. I'm gonna write it in, in brick. Even even though you don't write it like that, <laughs> better Christians. Actually, that's how you write Christian in, in Greek. We become better Christians. One of the marks, one of the things that Martin Luther got very very annoyed when he started his Reformation was that the people from the church didn't know the Lord's Prayer, and they didn't know the the other ones that we may that we may that then what. Commandments. I was going to say virgins. <laughs> the ten virgins, yeah, yeah, that, that, that's in Matthew 24, uh -huh. 25. <laughs> that's all he tells us. Change his mind, please. <laughs> that's the Lord's Prayer plus Enrique's Prayer. <laughs> so the Lord's Prayer and the Ten Commandments. People didn't know them. And I, and, and I question if in today in our church or ourselves, <coughs> Can we recite that everybody can recite this or everybody can recite this? And I bet you not many people can do it. So, if we are Christians, how come we don't know the most basic 
for Pray. Christian beliefs. Yeah, the prayer and what we are to. Oh, but the Ten Commandments don't count. Okay, can we kill? <laughs> don't take the. Don't take the. the, the <laughs> can we kill? Kill me. Uh, uh, you should love the Lord above all gods. Thou should not make. Uh, you should. You should not make idols. You should not take my name in vain. Keep the Sabbath. And what's the fifth commandment? Mm, mm, take the Sabbath. Mm, 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 no, yeah, that's the fourth. What's the fifth? Mm, mm, Honor mm, mm, mom and dad, huh? your yeah. father yeah. and your mother. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So. And then, so, and, and that's the first commandment. And why do we have to honor your father and your mother? What does the Bible say? Go to um, um, uh, Exodus 20. Because your days will be big. Wow. Yeah, you know it. How come you know so much? In the, how come? I don't know. No. You went to catechism. <laughs> you went to catechism. <laughs> yeah, okay. I can't remember going to yeah, yeah. Catholic school. So. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I did. I just can't so that's 20. Exodus 20, verse 12. Who has it? Can you read it? Exodus 20. Yeah, let me, you can read it, please. Just read it. The whole thing? Yeah, honor your... Because okay. we say the first four again. Read from the, uh, from 12 to 17. 12 to 17. Okay. Yeah. Um, honor your father and your mother so that you may live long in the land the Lord your God is giving you. You shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not give false testimony against your neighbor, you shall not covet your neighbor's house, you shall not covet your neighbor's wife or his um, master servant, man servant or maid servant, his horse or his donkey or anything that belongs to your neighbor. So see, so... Maybe in the future, we, if we, when we finish this, if you want, we can give, continue with the Lord. But we can do it faster than what we want to do this. But honor your father and your mother. And, and the next one? Um, you shall not murder. The murder, and then? You shall not commit adultery. And then? You shall not steal. Mm -hmm. And you shall not give false testimony. False testimony. So one problem that we have in especially in our Spanish speaking churches what we have? We call it in Salvadorian Chambre or Chisme in English gossip. That's you. That's you. <laughs> <laughs> We're not here to judge. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> you have broken the commandment. You broken the commandment. <laughs> <laughs> so we're not supposed to gossip. It, it, it's, it's in the Ten Commandments, but we love. You know what this? You know what's going on, and, and so so we can define. We if we do this, we can define what gossip is. <coughs> yeah. But it's in the Ten Commandments. So how what many about people? Slender. Sl it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. Gossip, slander is the same thing. So slander. Slanderous people. So. The Lord, we don't know the Lord's prayer. We don't ask every day for forgiveness. And we don't forgive those who sin against us either. We hold grudges. Yeah. <laughs> and we don't, and in the Ten Commandments, we, we slander, we covet our neighbor's car, our neighbor's uh, bag, because I always wanted your bag and until you gave it to me. <laughs> so, so those, those are the things. The things I had to do to avoid him falling into sin, you see. I had to, I had to buy for him. So, 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 do you think that we're, we are truly Christians is we, if we don't know? See, it's... We think oh, the Lord's Prayer, or we think the Ten Commandments. You see how, how many things we're missing yeah, really, to, yeah. Yeah, to be called Christians? Mm. And Martin Luther said, hey, what's going on? We're, we were supposed to be a Christian kingdom, a Christian a nation, a Christian empire. And look, they, they, were, they didn't know that. So well, the first thing that he did in his church, because he was a pastor and also a teacher, a mm. university teacher, he started teaching people. There was a reformer. There was uh, Martin Luther had not read the Bible until he did his doctorate. Imagine how it was. So you see, I got plenty of time. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not allowed anymore. That's not allowed anymore. And I read the, uh, have my one of the other <coughs> uh, 
uh, or men, men of Simons, men of Simons. He was a priest, and he said, "Oh, I haven't read the Bible," and he was proud of it. Yeah. So he didn't know that Lord's Prayer. He didn't know the Ten Commandments, but he was a priest. How many pastors and how many leaders do we have today in our churches that can recite either? Mm. And this is a problem. This, if they don't know the basic of Christianity, how are they going to teach it to others? So, maybe when we finish, you know more than many pastors. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. So, um, By learning the Lord's Prayer, we don't become better Christians, but we, <coughs> better than all, but we, become, we hope to become better Christians. That will be done. We don't decree what God says. Have you seen what God says? Have you seen how people... Say, I decree this or decree that, that God will do this. No. We pray, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So we don't say, I decree that you will have this car or you have this house or you have whatever. No. We don't know God's will. We submit to the will of God. We don't tell him what we want to happen. We ask Lord, if you like, like Jesus, before he and let, let's read this because we're, we're about to finish. Jesus in John, I think, and is that it? John, uh, when he's in the when he's praying, uh, in the in Gethsemane, in Gethsemane, okay, okay, uh, um, I don't think so. Then you who can look in Matthew or look when he's praying. Okay, there you go. Pray that you will not be done. Okay. So you put it okay. I think it's gonna be Martin. Oh, why are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Lalo, just put it this <laughs> You will laugh to me. <laughs> okay, there it is. Found it. Uh, for, uh, uh, 14, no, no, found Mark, it? Yeah, Mark 14, <laughs> Mark 14, uh, verse 32, mm -hmm. Mark 14, verse 32, see sometimes I don't, uh, this thing I, did, I, I didn't, I didn't prepare for this, mm. um, Mark 14, verse <clears throat> 32, to 36, so it says, they went to a place called Gethsemane, and Jesus said to his, to his disciples, Sit here while I pray. He took Peter, James, and John along with him, and he began to be deeply distressed and troubled. My soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death, he said to them. Stay here and keep watch. Getting a little farther, if he fell to the ground and prayed that if possible, the hour might pass from him. Abba, Father, he said, everything is possible for you. Take this cup from me, yet not what I will, but what you will. So, and, and this is again found in Matthew 26, 26 uh, to 40, um, Matthew 26, uh, in verses 36 to 46. Maybe, and maybe that's when you said, not my will, but yours be done. For something that, from the gospel, they change the wording. Matthew 26. And Matthew 26 is very long. There, see, 26, 42. He went away a second time and prayed. Uh, no, actually, he, he, he said it twice. 39. Going a little farther, he fell with his face to the ground and prayed. My father, if it is possible, may this cup be taken from me. Yet not as I will, but as you will. And then 42. He went away second time and prayed, My father, it is if, if it is not possible for this cup to be taken away unless I drink, drink it, may your will be done. So what did Jesus keep saying? Whose will has to be done? The Father's, the father's will. So he asked for the cup. So when we have a disease or something, we, we can say, Lord, please take it away. But, uh, but if it's not his will, we have to say, may your will be done. Not what we want. Mm -hmm. um, 
Where is it? Come on, blood. Where is it? Uh, it says, and 42 says, uh, Matthew 28, uh, no, Matthew 22, uh, Luke 22, verse 42. Father, if you're willing to, if you're willing, take this cup from me. Yet not my will, but yours be done. That's in Luke 22, verse 42. Again, Father, if you're willing, take this cup from me. Yet not my will, but yours be done. Whose wills were we supposed to bend to? To God. We can ask for God to take away something. For God to change our situation. But at the end, we're going to say, but your will be done. And some people take that as, 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 as you don't have any, any faith. Any choice on the matter. Yes, because we don't. If we believe that we our lives are in God's hands, mm. then we have to trust in Him. Yeah. So finally, the prayer focuses in the coming kingdom. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Why? Because Jesus, what was the kingdom Jesus was born into? What was the kingdom? The empire. Which one? What are you going to say? Rome. They were the one in charge. Yeah. So when God, when Jesus prayed, your kingdom come. What is he saying? No Rome. We don't want Rome. We want God's kingdom. The kingdom of the Father. And this is very political. In, 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 in the times of Jesus, if you pray this, you can go to jail or you can be killed. No, of course. Because you were, go, you were going against you're opposing the, you're, the, yeah. <clears throat> the God of Rome. Yes, you're, you're, you're opposing the God of Rome. Mm -hmm. So when we say your kingdom, uh, uh, what is it? Your will be done, your kingdom come. It's not parliament in Canberra. It's not whoever is in Washington. It's not whoever is in, in, in Moscow. It's not where it is in um, London. We want somebody else's kingdom. We want the kingdom of our father. It's the kingdom of our father, not the kingdom that uh, that, that somebody votes for. It. He is going to bring it. So, <coughs> this prayer calls out for justice, bread, because this is the kingdom. Um, your kingdom come. Give us today our daily bread. Forgiveness. And deliverance, but deliver us from evil. So calls out for justice, bread, forgiveness, and deliverance. Do we need those things today? Do we need justice? Yes. Do we need always bread? Some need more bread than others. I don't. I don't deny. It. <laughs> I, I gained so so much weight. I'm not talking about you, I'm talking about me. <laughs> pointing. <laughs> Everybody's is pointing, looking at you, no, it's... I'm overweight. <laughs> forgiveness? Do we need forgiveness? <laughs> we need forgiveness too. I'll forgive you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and we need deliverance. No more Kentucky. <laughs> yeah, no Actually, a lot of people, a lot of people say that in the on my on my Facebook group. You see, well, give us our daily Kentucky. <laughs> daily daily Kentucky. Kentucky. Yes. And deliverance. We need deliverance. Every time in your lady, in, in, in well, all of, the four of us here are parents. Yeah. Every time our children go out the door, we pray, Lord. Yeah. Keep our children. Every time I go down, I, I pray here and, and then I go down there. I say, ah, Lord, like today Natalie goes to, uh, to, to somewhere else apart from the school. Lord, please keep, keep her safe there too because she's going. Or when, when I know that you're going out or going to an outing or, or Maria or in every day that, my, that the man that goes to uni, keep them. Deliver them because we need deliverance. Deliver them from evil. Mm. Sometimes we don't know how to pray or what to pray. We have the Spirit's guidance if we ask. Romans 8, chapter, uh, chapter 8, verse 18 to 27. And we finish with this. Romans 8, okay? uh, 18 to 27. <coughs> and 
18 to 27. And this is a bit long, so I'm going to read it. And listen to what he says, 18 to 27. Consider that our present suffering are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. For the creation waits in eager expectation for the children of God to be revealed. Mm -hmm. For the creation was subjected to frustration, not by its own choice, but by the will of the one who subjected it in hope. That the creation itself will be liberated from the bondage to, de to decay and brought into the freedom and glory of the children of God. We know that the whole creation has been groaning as in the pains of childbirth right up to the present time. Not only so, but we ourselves, we have the first fruits of the Spirit, grown inwardly as we wait eagerly for our adoption to sonship, the redemption of our bodies. For in this hope we were saved. But hope that is seen is no hope at all. Who hopes for what they already have? But if we hope for what we do not yet have, we wait for it patiently. In the same way, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit it himself intercedes for us, the wordless groans. And we and, and he who searches our hearts knows the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for God's people in accordance with the will of, of God. <clears throat> so when we don't know how to pray, some people some people think that. That this is speaking in tongues. I I actually don't know. I mean, I'm in two minds. But one thing we can rest assured: if we don't know how to pray, we can ask the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And the Holy Spirit, I bet you, will will bring us back to something like the, the like the Lord's prayer. Because, like I said, who wants forgiveness? Everybody. Who wants justice? Everybody who wants sustenance, who wants bread, everybody. We need to eat every day. I fasted for this thing that I went yesterday and I was hungry. <laughs> and who needs deliverance? All of us. Because you don't know. Do you? I see the news every day at work in the morning. And I see all the bad things that happen. You are like Enrique, like we were talking about when we get out of the, of the main street here. And they're being like... The, we've been living here for three years. Maybe they've been like accident after accident right in front of the main street. I may be paying attention, but somebody else is not paying attention. Mm -hmm. We need deliverance. Mm -hmm. We need deliverance. So, let's pray the Lord's Prayer to finish them. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen.